I have to have things on time and everything needs to happen and he's more of the chill and he'll be like chill it'll happen but he's someone if you tell him to come at 5 o'clock he'll end up coming at 7 we are curious to know your story like where did it all start you're going to need a lot more time no face book we know each other since 11th grade uh, we were in davis together we had a lot of common friends and that's how we met Uh, so when I liked someone, Shane liked me. When I liked Shane, Shane had someone else. And then later on in first year, I happened to be in Dubai. And he happened to be in Dubai. And uh, he asked me out and said, "Hey, do you want to catch up and do a movie and get some uh, food?" And I was like, "Sure." had a date that he had guacamole salsa nachos and one garam mcdonald's ice cream and so much so he actually made a separate account just to kind of text me and stuff like that and named it nacho and salsa and then when he was dropping me back in dubai to my sister's house I got into the lift and he he almost kissed me. Oh, kiss? Huh? Yeah, look at each other. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to back away and try to be a gentleman, which I thought was stupid because I expected him to kiss me. And it stopped there. And then after a few years, met in Abu Dhabi again. Thought we would date, didn't date. Um, again, we we thought that we were going to date, and he liked someone, and I liked someone again. <laughs> Just came to have a finally we got to this point where we were like maybe it might happen the, and if we don't if we if we don't get married and when we turn 40 we we'll marry each other so we made this pact and he was like definitely but now let's just stay friends and we'll end up kissing each other one day like a mother Third year in college, I moved to Dubai to work, and he chose to work here. We were still friends. He moved there. We got into a massive fight and stopped talking. Eight months later, I sent him a text, and I was like, "Hey, Shane, I'm so sorry. I fought with you. It was my fault." And he was like, "Yeah, sure." And he started texting, texting. We kind of it just happened, and I think he was like, "Maybe it's time to to kind of dip my toe in the water and see where this goes." And so did I. And uh, here we are. Cause I'm ready to go. Shane's letter, and I put a knock-knock joke in it. Knock-knock, who's there? A herd, a herd who? I heard you like girls who make knock-knock jokes. That's why you're marrying me. <laughs> <laughs> And our relationship really took off from there. So we've really known each other uh, so many years. We've known about everything. We've been best friends more than anything for a very long time. So I am marrying my best friend. To be honest, I didn't even know we were writing a letter to each other. And she said I knew you forgot to write the letter, so I wrote you one anyways. And um yeah, I'm going to read it out now. Have you been thinking about the cold? It so happened that my sister-in-law did the centerpieces and some of the deco for Shane's brother's wedding. So the family was already well versed. So everyone just knew everyone. So it was something that they just clicked on and they were like, "Yeah, sure. Let's let's go ahead with this. It seems right." So, yeah. When you feel tired and she's always been like my baby. They can care of her literally. She's more of a soul sister, best friend, um, and she'll always will be, no matter what. However many years from now, she'll our bond is gonna be the same, no matter what. I know for a fact that both the mamas have been working extremely hard these last few months. Your mama. I must say that this would not be possible without them. My dad has always been there supporting me morally and with his prayers to make this day all success. My mom is going to be one of the main persons that I'm going to miss and then the second comes my brother. These two are very close to me and yeah. 
Hey Shane, I love you so much and I can't wait to meet you down the altar. Uh, thank you for always keeping me secure and uh, your hugs feel like home. And uh, just to be a little sarcastic, you forgot to write the letter that we were supposed to do for the interview today. So yeah, I love you so much. Says dear Shane, back in the 12th grade, with every flirtation given and meet up sessions of our guacamole and salsa crazy ex past. I never imagined and believed that this stud rock boy that I once made fun of would grow into a strong, hardworking and loving man that I now will be waiting for me at the altar. Uh, a wish uh, to change anything about you I wouldn't change a single thing because you are just so perfect and uh, I love you just the way you are your smile your eyes your hair your nose every bit of you I love just the way you are I will continue loving you the rest of our lives and I look forward to growing old Shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. There shall be seasons refreshing. Then from the Savior above, showers of blessing. Showers of blessings be. Most of us are falling, but for the showers we please.